Another legacy of Dunray's commercial venture into reprocessing nuclear material has been safely cleaned up and taken apart, with help from Mr Muscle. In the 1980s, a huge four-storey test rig was built at the site to carry out experiments using plutonium solutions in commercial-sized pulsed columns made of glass. The pulsed column laboratory was finally shut down in 1991, following the government's cancellation of the Fast Breeder Reactor Research Programme. Now, a decommissioning team at Dunray have taken apart the experimental test rig and cleaned up the glass columns. The two metre long glass columns, each weighing approximately 30 kilos, were carefully packaged up and transported to the site's decontamination facility, where the plutonium that coated them was scrubbed off. Before tackling the radioactively contaminated columns, the workers carried out trials on a clean glass column coated with glue and spray on snow. To mimic the conditions they would be working in, they carried out the trials wearing full airline suits. In this way, they were able to iron out any problems before the work began. The team discovered, through trial and error, that Mr Muscle window and glass cleaner was particularly efficient in removing the contamination. Once the decontamination process was complete, the columns were packed into industrial containers for storage as low-level waste. The glove box itself was a rectangular steel structure over six metres tall. A bespoke collapsible containment was designed and produced by local manufacturer Stevens Plastics to provide primary containment. Nicknamed the top hat, it resembled a plastic tent that could be folded down as the glove box was size reduced story by story. The workers used newt suits and glove ports to enable them to reach into the glove box to dismantle the remaining items with cold cutting equipment. Finally, the empty pulsed column laboratory was monitored for evidence of contamination. All that remains inside are the stairs and walkways which once gave access to the pulsed column glove box. It will be put into care and maintenance and regularly monitored until it can be demolished with the adjoining building.